like my body, my pad, my ride, my family, my church, my boys, my girls, my porn. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. We're going to talk about porn today, more than usual. <laughs> I'm Christy, that's Ben, this is Alonzo. We're talking about Don John, the directorial debut of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Take it away. So yeah, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, he writes, he directs, he stars. He is John, who is a uh, New Jersey Lothario. He uh, <laughs> loves his job, he loves his car, he loves his apartment. Uh, he goes to church every Sunday, and he bangs a lot of chicks, and he <laughs> loves, loves, loves internet porn, uh, <laughs> because it's so much better than real sex even for him, because he can lose himself in it, where his, he doesn't seem to quite have that gift when it comes to uh, interpersonal communication. Check it out. <laughs> Why'd you say yes to me? I'm just gonna have to wait to find out. All right, I got time. You're cute, I like you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Listen, you wanna know the truth? You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Baby. Baby! What are you doing? I was just reading emails. No, you weren't. She caught me watching porn. That's it? Right? Oh! <laughs> So I, 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 I'm surprised, I guess, well, I'm not surprised, but, but you, you didn't like it as much as I did. What did you find wrong with it? What um, didn't, what didn't work I, for you? I mean, I, I liked a lot. I, I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, start this out in a negative. I, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very assured first film. Um, he does something really tricky, which is, uh, he, uh, there's a lot of repetition to sort of show the kind of rut that this character's in. And it's hard to show that in sometimes in, in, not just in film, but you know, if you wanted to use it like, as a musical choice or whatever, uh, without just making it seem sort of droning and dull and hitting you over the head. But the way that you see this guy do the same things over and over again, the, the patterns, the rituals, he really makes that vivid and interesting, and I liked that a lot. I liked uh, they, uh, I liked uh, Scarlett Johansson's performance. She took a, a character great, yeah. that could have been really sort of just kind of a two-dimensional shrew and really fleshed her out and made her more interesting, even though she is still a shrew. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, for me, this movie lost me in the third act. I did not mm -hmm. buy the relationship that ultimately redeems him. Uh, and not that he shouldn't be redeemed or that that wouldn't happen, but the way that it happens and the the character with whom it happens, I, I didn't buy it. I was happy to see the person who plays the character who makes it happen. Enough that it worked <laughs> for me. I, 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 we were spoiling, we're not telling exactly what happens. I, think, I mean, Julianne Moore's in it. I, I, ah! I, I don't, I, it doesn't strike me as a spoiler, but I, but I, I didn't mind the development of whatever the thing it is that we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, because they, there was a, and complete, and regarding both his relationship with porn and his relationship with Scarlett Johansson and his relationship uh, at the end, there's no neat button on it. Like, there was no, it didn't feel artificially forced to me. I get why you didn't buy it. I would have probably been in that camp if it had gone in a different they, type of they direction. Don't, they don't tie, do, tie yeah. too neat a bow on it, I grant you, and I, and I was happy for that. But again, I just didn't buy that this character would be interested in him or vice versa, or that they would find in each other the things that they do. It just, it felt to me like uh, we need to, I need to fix this, and it just, it didn't. And here's an answer for the third act. Pretty much, okay, yeah. I was okay with it. I thought about it at first. I thought, will these people really be drawn to each other? Right. But she is in this state of flux. Sure. And I, I think that he makes her feel young and happy and alive again. Mm -hmm. um, there is, There are shadings and little dribblings of the possibility that there is more depth to his character than we originally sure. might think. Yeah, no, right? There's more to him than just the gym tan laundry right. routine that he has going. <laughs> um, but... I think they see in each other what they want to find. And that is why, and they need each other in this moment. And yeah. that is why it works. It does, it does kind of seem weird on paper. I yeah, agree. I don't know. Yeah. I just, I, I, I just when, when we got to it and it was happening, I was like, I, I just, I, I never had that moment where something happened, there was some click where I was like, okay, yes, I, I'll go with it. It, yeah. it, it I, works I, for me. I, I but, but up to that point, I thought this movie was terrific and I, I really want to see what else he's got mm -hmm. in his paint box as a, as a writer-director. I think this is a very assured debut. Um, I think the performances are all really good. 
uh, including his. Uh, I loved uh, uh, Tony Danza. Tony Danza is so funny. It's like the year, I mean, the, for Tony Danza and Andrew Dice Clay to sort of, <laughs> sort of deliver these performances, I think it's great. He was terrific. The, the yeah. 80s Guido. Yeah. 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 And they're finding together, and you do kind of believe that they can totally. be father and sure. son. Sure, Glenn yeah. Headley, who I I've Glenn always Headley. liked. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, and Brie Larson, who is essentially wordless the entire time and just does a lot with like a facial expression here yeah. or there mm -hmm. and then when she does have something to say yeah, it's, it's, a bit it's quite profound. That, but that, that bit actually reminded me of in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back mm -hmm. because the, the running joke in those movies is that mm -hmm. Silent Bob never says anything right. until the end and it's this big moment of revelation and Jay says you know, motherfucker doesn't say a word, and then when he opens his mouth, everybody thinks it's profound. You know, and so that she was that's. Profound, it, it, she's been paying attention the whole time. I, I guess so, yes. But it just it, it just matters. it just struck me as oh well, she's Silent Bob. She's the voice <laughs> of Brie Larson reason. is Silent Bob. She's the voice of reason um, why there needs to be one finally. <laughs> right. But she was yes, that's an interesting observation <laughs> about that. But of course, Silent Bob is like not a even funny as it may be, is not a believable person in life, and she sure. and she no, was. No, she does. Yeah. We do buy her. Yeah, we do buy her. That she exists. I I thought Scarlett Johansson was particularly great. I thought the accent was great mm. she seemed very very real uh, and again the uh, the the willingness to make her uh, complicated mm -hmm. uh, to fully rounded good sure. and bad I thought was outstanding and, and she came through because there are moments where you were like I want to argue with her which n tells me that I'm engaged <laughs> in the right. that I'm seriously engaged she's in the story princess she's not just like this tight jeans and heels wearing princess who wants yeah. the fairy tale and right more to her than that, her, the know. way she thinks is thought out like I, I think it's wrong, and it frustrated me, and I wanted to f shake her, but I but I believed it. So I, she I, means well in the, in the way she's steering. Yeah, him. right. In her right. own way, in her own mind, she means well. And I was thinking about this. I mean, she's from New York, but she never really gets a chance to do a New York accent. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. why it's perfect because she grew up hearing it her whole, the whole well, that's, life. Well, yeah, it reminded me of her when she was on Saturday Night Live. You know, look at this one, look at that <laughs> one. <you know>? um, <laughs> I, I love. There's a little uh, 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 sort of a running bit about his. You know the uh, his uh, road rage, mm -hmm. which I, I, I on the way to church. On the way to <laughs> church, right? We always see it on the way to church, and he's you know, and then he goes in and and and, uh, and sits in confession. But he's you know, he's like so many people I think who sort of put on this sort of uh, uh, front of 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 sort of getting along with the world, and they know they're supposed to be nice and how they're supposed to behave, and when they're alone in a car. Right. The they rage sort of comes the out. rage comes out. I just really I liked it. I thought well, it was really good. That, that part too, I think, plays into the whole idea of the film of of instant gratification and impatience, and just how that's what our life is like now. Like mm -hmm. you know, when your internet is briefly down, you can't get into your <coughs> email, you freak out, and that's what this guy's life yeah, is like. Right. It's like having to work for a woman you're going to fall in love with is an interest to him. He wants to get off from porn. He wants to get where he's going really fast. So mm -hmm. like the whole movie is about that's right. we want what we want, and we want it now. I like this a lot. I gave it an eight. I, I was very impressed. Uh, and in fact, if anything, I feel like I came in low. Seven point five. All right. I, I, I will go to. Se I'll go to seven. Right. You talked me up. Okay. So that puts us at a seven point five. Thank you. Uh, I, I still think the the third act is very flawed, but I am very excited about the prospect of Joseph Gordon-Levitt, filmmaker. Yeah, you can't you can't see this movie and realize that it's his first effort and not no. be impressed in no, that absolutely. sense at all. Great yeah. energy. It moves so well. So yeah. So what is it on Rotten Tomatoes? It's really high. Right? 76. We're at okay. 7.5. It's at 76. Um, I think not liking it is is weird. Like then you like you're you're the porn. <laughs> then you're like like I don't get how uh, how you would not I'm like sure it. I'm sure there are ways to not you know. No. <laughs> All right, All right everybody. Thanks. <laughs>